We begin with breaking news out of Northeast Miami Day. That's where at least one person is dead after a horrific car crash on Ivesbury Road. These, as you can see, are drone images of that scene, and that is where we find CBS4's Joe Gorcho with the latest on this. Joe. Hours after the deadly crash, Ives Dairy Road remains blocked in both directions, limited access only to residents in the area moving in and out. As you can see, it's still a very active scene. Crime scene tape roping off access into both neighborhoods as detectives work to assess exactly how this collision took place. As you can see behind me, the Miami-Dade County Medical Examiner arrived on scene just about 20 minutes ago to tend to one of the vehicles and the victims in the crash. Residents still very much active on the scene, looking on about what happened earlier in the day, visibly distraught from the victims, um, from the residents we were able to speak to earlier. And we also had a chance to speak to an eyewitness who was able to hear the crash and then see the end result of the car being dragged a half a block before resting up against the wall. Then I looked, I'm like, uh-oh. Victor Gonzon heard the moments before the loud collision. He says a car driving westbound on Ives Dairy Road hit the brakes before slamming into another vehicle, making a left turn. Guy T-boned the other car, and they ended up over there about a half block down the street. First one that called like 911. People started jumping out of their car. There was at least five to six people per vehicle. This CBS4 exclusive drone video shows the aftermath of the crash. You can see many first responders on the scene around the two cars. Hours later, many more residents gathered behind crime scene tape. A woman from a distance was heard crying in disbelief. We're told tonight by an officer on the scene someone died in the collision. Another resident, Donna Davidson, whose son sent us the drone video, says cars speeding on Ives Dairy Road is commonplace. That multiple times, especially on this intersection right here. You called this a speedway. I do call it a speedway. It is a speedway. I've seen people go faster on 441 than I do on I-95. Tonight, neighbors are saddened by the loss of life following this crash. Hope that we're not too numb to it. I mean, you know, there, there are people in the street that obviously do not live in this neighborhood or else they would not be using our neighborhood as a speedway. And that's one thing we've heard very often tonight is that they see too often cars racing up and down Ives Dairy Road and sometimes leading to moments like this, a car crash. We know again, one has died tonight as a result of this crash. Three others are in the hospital. Reporting live from the crash, Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.